Hey my friends, what's going on? It's your boy Cater on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. So in this video today, guys, I want to talk about something very specific. Um, it is how to plug in your authorized gateway into your Shopify. Now, this is a very specific video. Now, a lot of people already seen many videos on how to make money with Shopify, drop shipping, and all of the nine yards, everything else. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I love making videos whenever I find something that someone hasn't really covered or for someone that has a specific problem and it can provide a solution that's really powerful. Because I was going to my computer, I'm setting up a new store, and I totally forgot how to LinkedIn my authorized.net account to my Shopify, you know, how to LinkedIn it in the back office and all that stuff. You know, there's not much instruction videos on YouTube on how to do it. So I figured, hey, let me be the person who makes the video and show you exactly if you're having that specific problem, exactly how to do it. So I'm going to jump into the computer and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this channel is about you know, make money online, entrepreneurship, work from home, different opportunity, how to build a business on the internet. Make sure to click the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always receive my videos when you have to make them. I make videos about, you know, lifestyle, mindset, the whole nine yards. Okay, so I'm going to jump into the computer and I'm going to show you this is going to be a quick, easy video how to do it. All right, we are now in my computer. So though it's going to work, guys, um, you look into your Shopify back office, you're going to go into your Shopify setting. And when you're going to set up the payments, it's going to click on payment provider. Now it's going to show you PayPal, Shopify payments. Now we want to change the provider now. Now it's going to give you the different option, which is a third party down here. Then we're going to look for authorize.net. Assuming you already went to authorize, you got your payment account straight up with them already. Now, when you click on it, it's going to ask you for the API login and the transaction key. This is where I was boggling my mind. Where the heck do I find this thing in authorize.net? It was a it was a pain in the butt. So anyway, I'm going to sign in into my authorize and then I'm going to show you how you can find it. So once you log in into your authorize.net account, you're going to go into where it says settings, account settings. And then um, one quick thing I want to get your attention to, a lot of the time your account is going to be in test mode. And that happened to me. And if you start processing money, nothing will come through. So always make sure you come here, you change it from test to live. That way your account is live. And that way if you process any money, it will actually go through. Okay, the next thing you want to do after you change it from test mode to live mode, you want to go to where it says API credential. You click on that. And then that's where you're going to be able to create the API credential. You'll more likely will get the API ID. And at the bottom, you click on a new key. You set up the key. Once you get the key, you go back into your store. You put the API credential. And then you put the key. And then you, create act, you click on activate. Boom. Now you're going to be able to start processing payment through your bank. It's that simple. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hey, I'm going to keep dropping more content. Um, if you like that type of thing, you know, I'm still doing e-commerce, still crushing it. You know, uh, a lot of you already seen many videos on how to do e-commerce. Um, but this is a specific problem that I was having as far as linking up my account. The reason why you want to have your own merchant. Now, Shopify comes with Shopify payment, which is the merchant that comes originally with the system. Uh, it's it's 2.9, I believe, um, the fee that they charge you to process. But when you have your own merchant, you are able to have a lot more control over the payments, you know, because it comes directly to you. Shopify kind of pay you and breaks down like the next day. It, so th there's many different split and there's many different fees that you can avoid by having your own gateway. Or if you use something like Autorize and you link it directly to your bank, like if you have like Chase Bank, Bank of America, a lot of them, they, they, they work with you. If you have a business, you already have your LLC. You can go to your banker and they'll work with you and they'll show you, you know, how to plug in your authorized.net to your bank, then plug it into your Shopify and the payment will go directly to you and you can spare yourself on some fees. Now, in the beginning, if you're only making a few thousand dollars, it's not going to matter. You know, the fees are not going to be that much. But when you go into start making, you know, 10, 20, a hundred thousand dollars, millions of dollars, it becomes, you know, you can save a lot of money by just directly processing to your bank. All right. Hopefully this video was valuable to you. That was your boy Cater. I'm out. This was short and sweet. I'll see you on the next one. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Get in the game, balls in your lane. Push on.
hard, but you do, you can do it I'm here to put you on, so let's crush it Don't stop, don't quit, go against the odds And we'll shine bright like a diamond Hold your breath, dive deep, cause I got your back Living life, living dreams Let's make that party stack, never quitting There's something